Hi, I'm Sam Hassan, pastor of Palmer Grove Missionary Baptist Church in Hesselba, Georgia. Today, our lesson is titled, Mary Marvels at God's Choice. We're looking at three outlines today. And in those three outlines, the first outline talks to us about the focus of Mary's praise. We see in the text today that Mary focused her praise on God. It was focused, God-centered and God-focused. And we can also glean from that when we do our praise as well, it should be focused centerly on God. She realized that God didn't have to use her. God could have used anybody else, but God chose Mary. And as a result, Mary praised God for his choice. She praised him that he chose her. Just like Mary, God doesn't have to use us, but he chooses to. So we should rejoice and praise God for choosing us as well. The second outline we see is the concern of Mary's praise. From that right there, we can see that Mary deals with what God had done for the nation. She realized what God was doing ultimately in the big picture, how God was bringing in a redeemer, bringing in a savior for the nation that would eventually come in to redeem the entire world. On that last part, we see in the final outline that the belief in Mary's praise. Mary sees God was keeping his promise. He had made a promise to Abraham that he would give the land to the nation of Israel. It was an everlasting covenant. She now realized how all of this is folding out, how it's coming together, how God is keeping his promises and doing great things. God keeps his promises with us as well. All we have to do is trust God and his promises. We should be just like Mary, praying, trusting, and believing in the promises of God that God can do a great and mighty thing. That ends our lesson for today. Thank you. Be blessed now.